Hey guys, it's Sonia popping on live. What day is it today? Today is what? Thursday, right? It's Thursday and it's pumpkin time. So we're here at the shop at Junk Monkey Paint Company. If you guys have been following us, we took over a, another portion of the building that allows us to have a small kitchen into it. So it is super Very exciting. Small. Very small, but okay, it still gets the job done, right? You hear a Chef Matt in the background back there. And so uh, we're so fortunate to be able to have a What's small my kitchen. What's my name? It, Chef Matt. Not really. Not? No? Okay, fine. All right. If you have to, you know, What would you want us to call you then? I never like being called Chef in the kitchen. Okay, what do you want us to call you? It's just Matt, you know? It's Matt. It's the Matt, problem, and he just happens to be cooking today. demanded to be called Chef. Yes. I just think they couldn't, they either had a really big ego or they couldn't, uh... I was being kind, They okay? had to forget. Matt was they an executive remember, chef. Yeah, they couldn't remember So, what true their story, job was. that when I met Matt, I was a reporter, Matt was a Marine, and, uh, the rest is history. But when he got out of the Marine Corps, he went back to school, and he is a trained chef and worked in executive, uh, chef positions. So, he is Chef Matt, okay? But anyway, so I want you guys to know that. So, when he pops on live to kind of like, you know, to chef it up and to cook a little bit, it's nice because well, I'm um, teaching the hacks you because teach I'm us cooking things, for right? Everybody without having to go to chef school. And I'm trying to be super quick and make good food very quick, yes. but with a bunch of hacks. Yes. So, we're just yeah. going to hack it up today. All right. Hey, Rochelle. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Carrie. So, uh, yeah, we're so pretty fortunate because all the junk monkeys are here at work and somebody's looking back there going, Sonia, is that all your wine? <sighs> no, that's my, that's my, my mixes for my bullet coffee in the morning with all my different, um, my different like sweeteners, like butterscotch and toffee and all that good stuff. But anyway, but there could be one. You might find one in this building. It's always the best when I would like, um, you know, paint kitchen cabinets for people and they would reward me, not only pay me to do it but also pay me um, and give me wine that was the best ever like seriously what a job do you get that you get to do that sort of stuff right but all the junk monkeys are here at work at junk monkey paint company today we are in the kitchen Matt's over here because he's gonna show us how to make pumpkin soup all right and so for me I and I'm sure you guys on there as well like you have pumpkins probably I mean are, do you still have pumpkins outside your door right now raise your hand tell us yes if you still have pumpkins and you're like do I just sit and let them rot or do I do something with them, right? So, um, I'm excited. I'm excited, all right? Barbara says, hello, Matt and Sonia. Hope you're having a great day. We are having a great day, and it's even better that you're here hanging out with us. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, Chrissy, Carrie, and Karen. All right, so right here, do you see this right here? Do you see this right here? I'm going to pop over here to uh, Matt so we can um, see what he's got going on over there, right? You guys remember the small kitchen? We painted this door. Still got to do some wallpapering, but who remembers when we painted this door with the vintage white, right? Looking pretty fine. All right. We're going for it. We're going for it. All right. Oh, nice of you to join me. Thank you. Have you been waiting for us? A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Come on now, uh, Diva. Let's see what you got going down there on that cutting board. Well, today we are cooking everybody's favorite fruit, the all-American fruit. This is the question. Is pumpkin a fruit or it, a vegetable? It's a fruit. It does because it has seeds, right? It, not only it's a fruit, it's a berry. Okay. So. What? Yeah. Okay. The pumpkin is part of the winter squash family known as... Cucurbita. Yeah. Pepo. Really? And the, hey, Judith. And the actual pumpkin itself, the fruit, uh -huh. which we call the pumpkin, yeah. is actually called a pepo. Okay. A pepo. So, see, you, you just thought that, you know, you were just going to learn how to make pumpkin soup. You're going to learn the whole, like, and where what's, it what's came cool, from. Yeah. And what's cool about it is flowers can be male, and fe male or female, so if you grow it, you can use the male ones to stuff with, you know, crab meat, cream cheese. So are these you male know, or right? female pumpkins? Well, there's, I don't know. They're I mean, cute. They're, they're definitely they're, girls. Right. So right. anyways, but, uh, <laughs> but they're mostly grown for, uh, believe it or not, the, the, these are pie pumpkins. Yeah. Uh, I used to go around get everybody's uncut. I used to make people at the restaurant bring me their unused pumpkins that they didn't get to car for jack-o'-lanterns, and I'd make... Remember, I'd make 25 gallons of pumpkin soup at a time. Oh, it smells so good in so, here, guys. Anyways, I could you not. So, the pumpkin. Okay, we got some questions, all right? Yeah. Somebody says, are those sugar pumpkins? No, Linda they're says just pie pumpkins. They're pie pumpkins. Yeah. All right, they're pie pumpkins. Yeah, your, jack your classic jack-o'-lantern is a variety called the Connecticut Field Pumpkin, right? So Can it, you go wrong when you're trying to make pumpkin soup and you just grab a pumpkin? No. no okay. No, no, you can't. It's you all just I need get to know. less meat or more meat or whatever. Okay, you know. so these are what's called pie pumpkins. Yeah. They They're the orange you can flesh. see down there, right? And probably the ones that you have on your step. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
All right. So anyway, so. So what have you done to these pumpkins? pumpkins? Well, I'm getting there. I have some things to talk about. All right. He has some things to talk about. Okay. All right. If you're gonna let me cook for you, and I'm gonna yes. teach you, like everybody else in my kitchen, you're gonna learn. Well, I and thought you didn't. To, so you, do you hear that in his kitchen? You're not, ki you're not going to kitchen. interrupt me. No, you're number one. So no, do you see what happens? That was not that finger. This is this is this is why me and Matt finger. don't cook at the same time in the kitchen. Yes. This is true life, right? So I don't like it when he's in my space when I paint, and he and probably do does not, not like, like it when I'm in the kitchen, kitchen with him. Cooking. Yes, all right. So, so yeah. he's talking us through pumpkins right now. Yeah. We already know the kind that we need. So pumpkins are probably the oldest American cultivated fruit. Yeah. Um, the oldest known seeds that were preserved were found in Mexico. Uh, they're about 5,000 to 7,000 B.C. So we've been growing them, but they, they grow best in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois and Indiana across the mid-Atlantic and Midwest um, so the jack-o-lantern <clears throat> the all-american Halloween pagan fruit uh, the jack-o-lantern originally in Europe was actually carved out of turnips and when settlers came Do you like over, turnip? yeah when settlers came over to America it was much easier to do a pumpkin than to carve a turnip because the turnips are tiny and hard. Hmm. So what we got going on here is Okay, I quick question. Amber wants to know. She's going to watch for your recipe here. She says, can you do this recipe with butternut squash? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, Harley says, what is the best one? I don't like dry... I do not like dry like on I like on the sweet side. Me too. I'm a Moscato drinker. Would Unless you, you have a chateau enough to pop and then it's all over. All right. So, Whatever he I, just said. Whatever. All right. Yes, Karen. So he says, yes, absolutely. I know. Listen, Matt's like the Google man, right? Just like Matt, Matt's like the walking Google. I don't know how he knows all this stuff because he reads it once and somehow he's like a sponge, all right. okay? All right. So enough looking at me, the pumpkins. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get to get work, please, okay. right? Yeah. yeah. So basically what I did, I took two pumpkins, I got a whole bunch of flesh into that one. But what I did was I half the salt and peppered and pull out, pulled out the seeds and then cooked them for about 45 minutes. And the way you tell if they're done, if you take a half one... Okay, I have a question. I'm sorry. I have a question, and probably for everybody else as well. When you say you cook these for 45 minutes, did you have to cover them? Did you have to no, put no, water No, no, I'm just going to explain this. Okay, all right, go for it. <laughs> so for about a half of them for about 45 minutes and when you know they're done you can take something flimsy like this and just go like this and it scoops right out so when you half them what you want to do is take the seeds out you put you salt and you pepper them I don't even oil a pan I just throw them down like that okay and whenever they start collapsing like around here I know they're getting close to done collapsing so like you can yeah you can see the indent from from them starting to uh, collapse also what I'll, I yeah, also be like nice, Cheryl. Come on now. If you want the hit, if you want the recipe, you gotta listen to Matt's history of pumpkins. All right. Yes. She says, "Get on with it, Matt. We want soup, not the history." I'm of sorry. Pumpkins. You guys are the ones that have been talking, so right? don't start. <laughs> don't start with me, Cheryl. It's not today. So another thing. So another thing I did today was when I make my squash. I love roast. Oh, is that garlic. what I'm smell in the garlic? Yeah, roast garlic and soup. So. I just cut the top off the garlic. Yes. You see, that's the bottom. Yep. I cut the top. Salt, pepper, oil, vinegar. Um, face down. Yep. Same time. And it gets soft. It's ready. Um, it looks like a dog paw. Yeah. Usually you can squeeze these out like toothpaste. But I'm not going to do that. And you know why? Because when I did them, I used to do them by five pounds of already, um, already shelled bulk order ones and I look like a uh, complete and total uh, incompetent fool if I do it if I try to squeeze it out like toothpaste by hand so I'm just gonna pull these out real quick all right by okay. hand so uh, Anna says how when you're actually you cut the pumpkin in half and you're mm -hmm. you're cooking them right. um, how what temperature do you put it on 400, 400? I cook everything 400 uh, you go to a professional kitchen everything's on 400 400 degrees. Yeah. You pretty much say when I say, what should I put it on? 400. That's that's it. I mean, right. everybody knows. That way everybody knows. 400 degrees. Yeah, Fahrenheit. and 400 degrees, professional kitchens, all 400 degrees. The only time you'll see variance is usually in bakeries. Yep. And uh, even then, they're, they're usually uniform 350 to 375, depending on, you see that? Yep. Right, making a mess. Right. So... Okay. Anyways. I love garlic. Oh, oh I'm going to tell stuff, you. This stuff here, if you just take this and yeah. smash it up with a little bit of butter. Yeah. And salt. And then you spread it on your toast. 
garlic oh toast. Oh my god. Seriously, I love garlic so much. There are nights that we'll get in bed and Matt will be like, you smell. Like I'll turn oh, and say garlic. something I mean, we're and he'll be like, you smell like garlic. What did mm. you eat? And it's because mm. I, you know, even when he cooks, if there's like a big chunk, I will eat it. And it's supposed to be really, really good for you too, right? So basically, and vampire. Give me vampire yeah. basically we're just doing a... Uh, Yes, Tara, that's what I was just saying, What's right? That? Um, that roasted garlic is really good for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. is. All right, so yeah. you are chopping some onion and celery right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you guys could smell this right now, absolutely amazing. So, anyways, so yeah, I just clipped this up. Now, here's the trick I don't have a lot of time because we're at work today. So, to do the carrot, just buy the shredded carrot. Is your time worth the extra 70 cents? Right. Seriously. No, trust me. It's like when I'm making and creating and I tell, I'm like, sometimes you just got to go and you just got to buy the, the, you know, the palette backdrop and you paint on it. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. If you want to spend $5 or go take nails at an actual so, piece of palette, it's mean, totally cool, right? Carrot, so it'll be kind of a carrot pumpkin, but it, it's okay. Carrot pumpkin because, sounds good to me. Because it's all relative, right? It's oh, relative. so good. Um, good for um, heart health. Amber says yeah. she loves oh yes roasted garlic mashed taters uh, <gasps> I make oh, roasted garlic so bread do you remember good. when I used to so make good. roasted garlic bread yes I do yeah. there's nothing better than you know not the stuff that comes out of the actual shaker but the actual real deal food yep. you know so, it does take extra time to do it though yeah, that's absolutely. why I'm so thankful with Matt as a chef that will do things like this in the middle of the day when we're all, you know, packing and shipping and taking care of business here, the, the whole place smells so good right now. So, for those of you who are joining us, we're making pumpkin soup. Matt's um, basically put pumpkins, cut them in half, upside down, put them on 400 degrees until they were completely roasted. And he's got them scooped out over there. And then you've got in here, what, onion, garlic, uh, carrots, yep. oil, salt, pepper? Yep, just a little bit of oil. Am I missing anything? Yeah. I think that's it, right? So we're just going <clears> to... <throat> hey, Mary Ellen. Kind of simmer these down here. Oh, this is looking so good. They say that the more colorful your food is, like, the better off it is for you. That it's packed with more, you know, vitamins and yeah. just good stuff, right? Good, good stuff. So oh, just uh, just for equipment alert, I have a submersion blender on because okay. I'm, I'm going to blend this up smooth. We okay. could actually leave it kind of chunky, but... I'm, I'm like in the mood for like a creamy. You're gonna dishes. go for more creamy? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So, anyway, so, so what have you got yeah. your um your uh, high set for? So you got yeah. this on high right now. Yeah. I know our burners on the stove that's here at our shop. Yeah, it is, doesn't always. It's not calibrated. It doesn't so get don't. really super hot. So this yeah. is probably for a normal stove. You what? Um, I cook everything like you know medium, medium, medium high, medium. Okay. Um, if I had gas, it'd be on medium high heat. Okay. Oh, look at that crazy thing. You can hear it. That was okay. a factory failure there. Oh! Here goes chunk of carrot. That's okay, I'll eat Definitely it Definitely not a credit one. Yeah, right? That was a big honk of juice of carrot. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, life goes on, right? Life goes so, on. So, the next six or seven minutes, we're going to spend sauteing these down. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get you to start to finish within the next 20 minutes. Alright. Alright? Yep. So, everybody has uh, the pumpkin. You know garlic. that 90%, like, most pumpkins are made for an animal feed. Like, those for animal feed. And jack o -land. But the ones that are made for human consumption, like pumpkin pie and everything else, are almost all grown in Illinois. Yeah. Anybody from Illinois, we thank you for your um, pumpkins. Yeah, and it's canned by Nestle with the Libby Company. Everybody knows Libby, yep. Libby Fruits, right? So, That's anyway, so there was a huge rain about 10 years ago. Yep. Right around harvest time. And they got premature rot and destroyed almost the entire pumpkin uh, seed harvest. It was almost the Thanksgiving in 2010. Uh, well, that's bad. Uh, oh, 2010. Really a lot of pumpkins. Yeah. Oh, they should. It's an underutilized fruit, I do believe. <laughs> yeah. And Kate, you will like this. It's Kate's on here, and uh, Kate's my right hand girl, my shop manager, and she is. She says that uh, she's coming up to smell it, but whew, all right. But Kate's also I hate to tell uh, vegetarian. You, Kate, yeah. She's gonna love it. Well, 
maybe not this one because I'm, I'm, put in it. I'm putting in uh, for a broth base. I'm going to use chicken broth. Oh! You can use vegetable broth. Okay. But, so substitution for somebody like yeah. Kate would be using vegetable broth. Yeah, but unfortunately, oh. the reason why I use the chicken broth yeah. is the body. Believe it or not. Tell me about the body. It, it, believe it or not, the body <laughs> of the soup, for, for it to have the right mouthfeel, yeah. you need that. You need the uh, actual chicken broth when it mixes with the cream, the heavy cream. Uh, there's actually a chemical reaction with a couple of proteins okay. in it. Uh, vegetables don't have certain amino acids and enzymes, protein enzymes, that you need for texture, believe it or not. So, for all you vegetarians out there, and believe me, we were vegetarians for a while. Um, it was kind of a hard lesson to learn when, you you know, there's certain things that you just absolutely love about like chicken soup and things like that when you replace it with a vegetable broth. So, sorry Kate. <laughs> Karen says she's on her way. So, Karen says pumpkin bars with icing on her jam. Heck yeah. I could have pumpkin soup and icing bars. So what's cool about this now is we threw when I sauteing this and it's like not exactly frying but I'm keeping it moving so nothing burns. Speaking of that, um, Cheryl says, you don't have any liquid in there, question mark? Mm, well, no, because I salted a little bit of oil, and I salted it and peppered it. So, you see all the steam come out? Yes. That's all the liquid that's coming out of the carrots and the celery and the onions. Um, celery, carrots, and onions are mainly water. So, as long as you keep it moving, you're not going to have an issue with burning. And also... It helps uh, caramelize some of the sugars within the vegetables, so it sweetens it a little bit. Also, I threw that roasted garlic in the beginning. That's all uh, basically has uh, joined together with the carrots and everything else, and it's all coated in there now, so it's like dispersed all through. So as we go in here, so yeah, we're getting a little browning at the bottom. So what we're going to do now is, as you can see, that it's turned, you know, semi-transparent. This is just with the glass. Mm -hmm. You drop it in there. All right. Chicken broth, chicken broth, chicken broth. So, Kate, you could totally do vegetable broth if you really wanted to. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kate. Uh, miracle. Right now. Uh, well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a lifestyle choice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. she's gonna so, go. Now she knows how to cook it. See, there's one. That, is that one entire? Lisa um, knows. Box yeah, that's on just there? one quart of that. Lisa knows mirepoix. Mirepoix what is. What is that? Well, it's the mixture. Mirepoix is your trinity of vegetables that you need to go trinity in. Trinity of vegetables. Oh yeah. Mm. So I called you Chef Matt, and you're like, don't call me Chef Matt. But now you're talking about a. What'd you just call it? Trinity. A vegetables? trinity of vegetables. Yes. Um, yeah. So basically, I am going to take. Oh my! Don't splash. A me. handful this of pumpkin. Is hot, hot broth. Let's see here. Oh, I was expecting like cannibal. Who, who are you talking to? I know. I know. So, anyways, oh I just gosh, take this. Guys, yeah. This so, so isn't that? Yeah. See, it yes. cooked up nice. You know. So, if you want to make your own pumpkin pumpkin pie, just do a little bit of brown sugar on this, right? A little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, a little bit of brown sugar instead of salt and pepper. Wait, what? Yeah. Say that again slower. So to make pumpkin pie, I would just take the pumpkin right now, like this. Yeah, like this, you're doing, yeah. And do what? Brown well, sugar. Well, you would done, when you put it in there, you would done a little bit of brown sugar, yep. a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of butter, and put it in there, right? And then when it came out, you'd mix it with eggs and sugar and vanilla and all that stuff. That sounds your good. nutmeg, your spices, yep. Yeah. Actually, I'm having problems grabbing a hold of it. Because it was breaking on me. It just came right off the shelf. Just yeah. look at that. See, yeah, so that's. that's huh. yeah. Easy peasy. Why do you make it look so easy? Because it is easy. Okay. And, and if you think it's not it's easy. It's madly bubbling down there. Yeah, well, we're going to take care of that, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to break this up like this. So, who's got pumpkins on their doorstep? Just do this. Roast off your pumpkins, cut them in half, put them in the oven, put them on 400 degrees, face down. Okay. And then when you uh, when they're soft to the touch, start to kind of dimple, you know you can go ahead and take them back out, scoop them out. And then so what I'm going to do here while we're here working on of this. His veg is treaty. Ah. The veg is... 
Let me back this off in case it splashes. Yep. Hang on. I need to grab a paper towel. My hands are... I have a little more pumpkin in there than I wish to have. So he's making a carrot pumpkin soup today. There is veg in here. There's onions and celery and carrots and uh, chicken broth. And basically, simmer them until they went translucent and soft. Yeah. I kind of did it fast. So. Yeah, and there's garlic, roasted garlic yeah. as well in here. So I'm not doing, I'm, I'm just kind of breaking this down a little bit. So that way we have room to work here. I'm not quite finished with this yet. So anyways, so now this just looks like, to be honest with you, if you really wanted to, you could serve this as like a mashed, uh, mashed pumpkin, you know, like mashed you have squash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like squash. yeah, right. So now you're doing what I have to have in my life every day is heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream, straight yeah. into it. All straight right. into it. Heavy whipping cream. Oh, I love creamy soups. See, this might be too thick for my risk. No, it's not. So, anyways, we're going to start moving this around and incorporating all this. So, I'm going to, once I get this all hooked up, as far as the uh, level of water that I, you know, moisture that I want into this, I'm going to start hitting it with uh, that submersion blender to get it all amalgamated up here. So, here we're going to... <laughs> If you don't have a submersion blender, you can, wait for a, you can cool this down and use a uh, regular blender or food processor. Or whatever you want. Barbara says, is the heavy cream for taste or texture? Good question. Both. Both? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Line up at the front door and uh, just bring your bowl over because we got lots of carrot pumpkin soup going down here. Yeah. Holy moly. So, I, I need those carrots to reduce down a little bit more. Yeah. I had half and half on standby in case I needed it. Okay. I need a spoon, actually, because I need to... A spoon? I need a spoon, the flavor test. All right, let me see here. Now you're putting some what, salt in salt here? Salt in there and a little bit of pepper. Yep. Hey, um. Is there anything up there at the top? I don't see. We might have our uh, Everything's downstairs. kitchenware downstairs. I think the kids all took it downstairs. Uh, hey, you guys. Where are your spoons? How about right here? Let's see here. Well, uh, let's see here. Here, try, the, try it right here. All right. All right. I got a spork and a knife. <laughs> what? Or a spoon. There's uh, spoons downstairs? No, we're out. Uh, <laughs> would you like a knife? No, how am I going to eat soup with a knife? Funny You'll stuff. find one. <laughs> Is that revenge for only making for not making it vegetarian? Yeah, uh, sorry. Too funny. All right. We got a giant spoon. Will that work? Here. Yeah, almost here. There you go. Here's a, a nice giant legal. spoon. There you go. Yeah. Use the word. Listen, we're low maintenance people. Come on. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, do it all for that one. That looks so good, yeah, Donna Williams right. says. All right, let me switch spots with you here. Yeah. Hey, Coming to you live from our shop kitchen oh, here. I appreciate that. <laughs> so here's something to remember, too. Like, this is a very carroty soup because I put more carrots into it because I didn't want to waste it. Yeah. And I love carrots, and I love carrot soup. So, anyways... So, I should say this is a cream of carrot and pumpkin, but if you want to get rid of some of the carrot paste, here's the super secret. 
tip for you. Okay. Before you before you hit it with the blender again, what will happen is the uh, really chunky pieces of carrot will float to the top. Actually. Really. Yeah. You can see some. You can see it right there. See there. Mm-hmm. See the carrot there. Gia needs some soup. Come on over, girl. All right here. Let me. Come on me over. My fork. All right. Let's see here. You gonna try it? What do you think? Needs some more salt. Some more salt? Yeah, but I'll let you try it here. All let me right. Get you. Uh, get you a clean utensil there. We can share the same fork. We've been we've been together for twenty years. I think. I, well, I don't want you putting I, an unclean fork. Oh, in this my is soup. true. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here. We're using a fork as we try to find um, spoons in the shop. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so yummy. See, I can never make something like that. I can paint all day long till the cows come home. But creative in the kitchen? No, that's yeah. Matt's place, ma'am. So now we got, because it's sticking <laughs> up, you're not going to need, because a lot of people will, you know, cook the vegetables in the stock, mm -hmm. and then they'll pull it out, right, because of a texture type thing. That's funny. Do you, you want the other one? Do you want the other well, one? Well, no, I'm just going to put this in so you can really see the soup. What's see, funny see about that, you're using the ladle. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't gone through the final submersion blend right right so that ladle has been with me since i was like four years old you know yeah i believe that because it was in the house that was my mother's <laughs> ladle <laughs> get them all yep sorry. <laughs> I fling it everywhere. Um, so the deal is, okay, so now we've made it like a smoother texture, mm -hmm. but they're still chunky. It's still, you got the mouth feel, right? So it's still got the homemade feel to it. But if you want it silky, silky, silky smooth, when you make, when you add your stock, uh, pull out all your vegetables and just leave your basic, uh, basic components in there. Ooh, where you'll have the flavor. You know what this would be good with too? Like yeah. honestly, some garlic bread. Oh yeah, absolutely. Garlic bread dipped in this. Oh, I got yeah. I got soup all over my banana shirt. Soup? No soup for you. <laughs> no soup for you. So we're gonna turn into the soup Nazi. Okay. So Who remembers that show on Seinfeld? That was such a good one, wasn't it? Yeah. He comes to uh, Pittsburgh all the time for the uh, Comic Con. Does he really? Yeah. Uh, I used to like watching Seinfeld. Yay! So it's so easy. I'm um, just seeing this, right? A lot of times when Matt's cooking in the kitchen, he doesn't want me in the kitchen. This is his. This it's is his not thing, that I right? I don't want you in the kitchen. It's the fact you get into my get in my way. Like when you're painting, and I'm trying to do something in the same room, I get in your way. See, this just proves what I was just saying. Matt doesn't want me in the kitchen. <laughs> so um, thank you for adding to that, so they could definitely see what, exactly what I meant. <laughs> so he's doing his own thing, right? Matt has his, his, his own thing, right? You know, yeah. you gotta leave him go, right, and do his own thing. So, yeah. oh my gosh, does that ever look so? So good. Give me some garlic croutons. 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 croutons not a put on that. Yeah, let me... But yeah, right. Yeah. Throw here, some glue in see. there. I'm stencil here, Let's get. Let's get. What? Let's, let's get done with this. Why? What are you doing now? You're, you sound like me, like adding a stencil on top or something, right? So, anyways, I, my my table's a mess now, which is not good. Your table's mess. Because okay. I had to grab my stuff. But what I what, if I put cinnamon on this? What would this taste like? Um, yeah, cinnamon will work. A little bit of brown sugar would work yeah. actually. So what you doing right there? This is heavy cream, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that. And what we got here? Yeah. See this? Oh you know what this is? No. What is that? This is a little horseradish. Right? So you got horseradish. Heavy cream. Heavy cream. Horseradish and heavy cream, Just a like bit. that's supposed to be. What is that? Well, when I make horseradish sauce, how do you think I make it? I don't know. With heavy cream. And... Barbara says, if you make a large amount, can you freeze or how can you store yeah, this? Yeah, you can freeze it absolutely. You can freeze what it. would you freeze it in? 
Uh, I just do it in little containers, you know. Like little, little, like Tupperware type, clear, yeah. Not, yeah. But I just do some clear it containers. Okay. So what we're Lisa gonna do? Lisa says you can put nutmeg and cardamom into it. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm not a big cardamom fan. So you just take this. This is a little bit of probably this much uh, heavy cream and a little bit of uh, horseradish. Yeah. And then you just start shaking it. Okay. Until it thickens, like a yeah. Until it thickens exercise. and yes. starts turning into whipped cream. Okay. So and then I'll show you it around. So. All right. So he's gonna bring it over and show us what he's gonna do with this in just a second. Right now he's shaking it all up. Keep it on the thing. Don't show him my mess. Let's see here. Oh, so good. Yeah, I would like. I love a nice bowl of soup, and then ah. Um, uh, some garlic bread, or even if you did like some pita and you just kind of like, you know, cut it in pieces and dipped it into, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. What's you got, your guys' uh, favorite soup? What's your guys' favorite soup? Curious to hear. Matt's over there shaking it up right now. And uh, I did see you make butter one time with whipped cream. It amazed me. Into like whipped, no, whipped cream into butter. You I shake it enough, it, it turns into butter. Who knew this, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Throw some glitter in there. Too funny. Kate, you're awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so Kate went and um, see the Dollar General Store next door, what we do without them. And I'm pretty sure they know us all by now at this point. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is let me do this first. So if you ever forget anything, you just here. run next door, sure, right? Sure, here. Okay. So I just did a little heavy cream. Is that a smiley face? I just made a Is that a smiley do. face? I did. Oh my gosh, you put a smiley face on here. And then when I do with stuff like this, you're with a goatee. <laughs> oh, I have now seen it all. I have now seen it all. Oh, here, here. All right, wait, I'm wait, trying wait, to. Uh, to it. Oh, there it is. Is there any? So, and he's, There's he's, 20 he's, spoons in this pack. And look, trying to he, get he's chewing on a. Oh, there you Celery go. Celery leaf. So there you go. Too funny. So there you are. Do you want to put it down there Here real fast? Is. I'm trying to get this out Knock of the box. Knock yourself out. Here, let's see if you can get it out of the cutlery box. Artistic touch. See? Matt's creative <laughs> in the kitchen. There you go. You put a stencil on it. Oh my gosh. Right there. There you I go. should have drew a monkey face on it. Yeah, right? That would be funny. I, I'm sorry, but this is the fun part. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, you can get artistic ah, now, like, you know, yeah, you do the, you do the swirls uh, yeah, you do the swirl and you take a toothpick and you yeah, put it all through yeah, it and all that good go. stuff. Knock yeah. yourself out, Mix. All right, let's see here. Oh, my golly. All right, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. All right. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, it's so, so good. Okay, you're going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> going to take my word for it. If you're in town, come over and have a bowl. Yes, if you're around town, you're more <laughs> come welcome. here. And uh, we are we'll, live testimonial. There you go. All right. Having fun at the Junk Monkey today. Everybody's, uh, it's one of those chilly days out. So everybody's just kind of like, you know, the smell of roasted garlic and pumpkins all throughout the building. Clean my stuff up. And it is a wonderful thing. All right. Anybody got any questions before we log off of here? Off? Yeah. Yum, Lisa. Yay! So there you go. There you go. It's what's for lunch. It's what's for lunch. And you know what? Actually, I am going to have some. What? Oh, and, and it's healthy. It's good, right? And so you guys, a lot of times right now, might have um, pumpkins just sitting right outside right now and they're just rotting or they're about to. So just follow this recipe. Every way to go, right? Dawn is on her way from Ohio. Sounds good, girl. All right. How much does it make? So I guess this probably depends on... That one? That's yeah. about... That's about a gallon there. Yeah. A gallon of yeah. pumpkin carrot soup. Let me see. Let me see. So let me good. figure so out real quick. I put so a quart. A quart. A half. Yeah, it's about a gallon. Oh, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Lots, lots of stuff. Jen says, thank you. John says, it's still warm outside here in Florida. Well, yeah, of course it we is. We are envious of you. <laughs> We were envious of you. Yes, John, rub it in. <laughs> Clara says her pumpkins are teal and plastic. What can she do with them? <laughs> um, she can eat them. I, I can't guarantee that she'll be able to use the Is there bathroom. a warning on the bottom that says yeah. do not ingest? Yeah, like, I don't know if she'll be able to get right? to the bathroom after that, but okay. You can, tell, you can still pretend and practice. You can practice. All right. <laughs> so Barbara says, Matt, what is the best cheese for a grilled cheese sandwich? I think she's planning on making pumpkin soup and maybe doing a grilled cheese sandwich to go with it. Straight up American cheese on it. Yeah. I mean, I'm stuff. sorry. I'm a kid of the '70s and '80s, so 
There you go, Karen. If you're in the area, send me a message and come over for a bowl. We'll be eating this for days. I'm pretty sure we will. <laughs> Ah, oh, too fun. All right, Matt's indulging. I'm right, about to go ahead and uh, yeah, like save some for me. We barely have you enough. Have a whole bowl I know. There. I'm being sarcastic. I'm, we, there's a whole bunch of us. There's how many of us working in the building today? So we will all enjoy it. All right, good up. Yeah, good up. Uh, we uh, we strategically eliminated. And I've been one a good girl, so I get some more. You been I what? Like, I like Havarti on there. As a nice Havarti. Yeah, that sounds good. Deal Havarti on a grilled cheese. Would dipped in a bowl try? of soup. Woo, dog. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys again soon. Yeah. Got pumpkins. Know somebody got pumpkins? Do this. Yum. Still pumpkins. Follow this recipe. Yeah, still Way pumpkins. to go. Right. What's that? Still their pumpkins. Still their pumpkins. There you go. We did not endorse that message, but yeah, do what you got to do, right? We're all about repurposing, man. Repurpose those uh, pumpkins, right? Yes. All right. Take care. Bye. See ya.